we talk a lot in the training about um be curious not furious you know so before the award a lot of people might have seen certain types of behavior and thought oh you know they're really disruptive to the room and it's really having an impact on the rest of the children and and especially if you're in a classroom situation how can the rest of the children manage with this and staff and management if you start to unpick why the child is feeling the way they're feeling especially you know a lot of our children and a lot of adults actually struggle to communicate how they feel when they're feeling emotional you know it's there's nothing worse than someone trying to tell you to calm down as an adult when you're feeling a bit frustrated and as an adult we struggle to articulate sometimes why we just wake up in a bad mood or why we're having a tough day and um, it's no different for children i think we have different expectations for children we think you shouldn't know it all straight away and they don't so i think what the training does is help you to be a detective and to try and unpick it and to give you strategies about sitting in the storm with that child to be that that lighthouse, that calming influence. And you know, learns a lot on the training about how important um, sensory play is and how important it is to go back to basics of what children need as babies. And if that's been missing out in their life for whatever reason, it's providing that again. So we have lots of sensory opportunities. We have lots of glue, lots of water, lots of shaving foam, lots of painting on a big scale. You know, it's quite normal to come into our two-year-old room and see the two-year-olds completely covered in paint up their arms and their face because you've got to experience all that before you can do your mind, use handwriting work when you get older. It's really important that your environment and your staff know about these things and provide these opportunities so they can feel fulfilled and enjoyed and, and feel that sense of empowerment as children then or in wonder moments. I think it's going back to that. We try, try to create that as staff. It builds great relationship with families. You'll find when you chat to lots of families, they're struggling with the same things at home. They don't realise sometimes things that they're doing is causing an impact on their child throughout their day. And it's only by unpicking it all in a non-judgmental way, no blame anywhere, let's just see how we can sort this out and get to the bottom of it, that actually you see amazing results at home and at school. You know from other researchers research that if you've not got a high level of well-being, you're not going to have a high level of involvement. So if you want your children to learn the best they can possibly be, learn, they've got to feel good in themselves. If they feel good in themselves, you will get the most potential out of them. So from a, a school's point of view, if you want higher achievements and higher goals, then why wouldn't we be addressing the emotional well-being and the, the emotional impact? So all this has come from the Trauma and Attachment Award. We did it anyway, but we now can articulate why it's so important because children feel things with their whole body and that, that body, mind and soul needs to feel aligned in each other. They don't feel good inside and feel that sense of joy. It's hard to tap into it when they're struggling. When they're struggling and they're really upset, if we know what makes brings them joy, we can ignite, ignite it again.